What's happening, friends? Welcome to a very special unboxing. I'm so excited right now. Uh, today, of course, is Friday, September 15th. You know what that means? It is Metroid Day today. Of course, we are celebrating the brand new release of a brand new Metroid game for the first time in a very long time. Other M was the last uh, sort of core Metroid uh, game. We also had uh, Metro Prime Federation Force come out last year, which was a bit of a spinoff similar to uh, Triforce Heroes. But Metroid Samus Returns, of course, is the return to form we've been looking for for uh, Metroid. Um, I mean, again, I'm a huge Metroid fan. Metroid is my favorite game series of all time. And of course, Samus Aran, my favorite video game character. So I am so excited to, to open this stuff. So we've got the special edition of the game to open, as well as the Amiibo. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and break these open. Uh, we'll pro I'll probably start with the game. Uh, so we'll put the Amiibo off to the side here for a second. Don't worry, we're gonna come back to that. So uh, we're gonna see what's in the special edition. Of course, uh, according to the box, it states that uh, there's a music CD in here. Uh, it is different from the UK special edition because there's a legacy edition in quotations I'm putting there uh, that includes a whole bunch of different th different stuff. But the special edition comes with um, some cool goodie, uh, goodies as well. So let's pop it open and see what's in here. I like the fact that there's no tape on this because as many people know, I'm not a huge fan of opening things with tape. Okay, so we'll just set the box off to the side here, I guess. So we have two things. We got the, the game itself, so Metroid Samus Returns. Uh, so on the front, we've got sort of the, the game's logo. On the back, uh, it's actually different from the normal version because uh, basically what you would get on the normal cartridge is you'd actually get sort of this advertisement on the back sort of explaining the game to you and, and what it's all about. Uh, but because we have the special edition, that's on, on this fancy box here. So uh, on the back here, we've got sort of a picture of Samus's gunship. And it's actually kind of cool because it's a little bit holographic. Uh, again, it's also very shiny with the lights here. So uh, let's crack this open because there's a cool surprise uh, with the inner artwork for uh, the game box itself, which is a really, really awesome throwback to people who owned the original Game Boy version like myself, because Metroid Samus Returns, in case you uh, don't know what the game's all about, uh, is basically a remake of Metroid 2, The Return of Samus from uh, the Nintendo Game Boy, actually, which is a long time ago, because the original uh, cartridge was on NES, but this one was, in fact, the Game Boy follow-up uh, to the original game, um, and it is all about exterminating the Metroids from SR388, which is their home planet. So inside the box, pretty standard fare. You've got your warranty guide, no instruction manual, uh, and as well, just the game. Again, it is the normal copy of the game that you get in the special edition. But as I mentioned, there's really cool, uh, there's a really cool reversible cover. So the reversible cover here is really awesome. It is the Game Boy uh, front and back like as is, which is really awesome. So of course, uh, Metroid 2, The Return of Samus with the, the Game Boy sort of strip there, even as a little uh, awesome wireframe logo of the official Game Boy uh, game pack, which always uh, warms my heart. There's also the, the back of the box description along with the original screenshots that were on the original uh, box as well, which is really awesome. So we're gonna slide that in here because that's the version I'm gonna be rocking. As much as I actually really like the, the new artwork actually, um, I mean, I just, Again, Metroid 2, The Return of Samus, um, the original, was actually my very first Metroid game. Uh, so, of course, uh, I'm gonna rock that version because, I mean, let's face it, that's sort of what got me into the Metroid series to begin with, which is why actually this uh, Metroid uh, Samus Returns is actually really special to me. Not only is it the very first Metroid game, uh, 2D Metroid game we've gotten since Zero Mission, but uh, Metroid uh, Samus Returns is also a remake of the game that got me into the series in the first place, which is really cool. So we'll set that up here, along with uh, all the old school Amiibo. Uh, as well, we got the Metroid Samus Returns uh, Archives Sound Selection CD, available wherever uh, fine CDs are played these days in 2017. Uh, I mean, my, my computer luckily still has a CD drive, but uh, it's something you're seeing disappear more on more often. But um, I actually like getting CDs uh, with collector's editions. We also got one with the uh, Persona 5 uh, Take Your Heart edition as well, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, and anyway, I mean, it's just easy just to import that into iTunes and carry it with you. Let's get this plastic wrap off. I'm just gonna destroy it without destroying the box because I want to keep this intact because this is a really cool looking box. So of course you've got sort of the, the Samus logo on the front here. 
um, with sort of the music selection. But on the back, some really cool artwork from uh, the game as well. I believe this was uh, concept art for uh, this version of the game. I believe uh, this is very similar to the Metroid Prime Trilogy art from uh, the Wii re-release of Metroid Prime Trilogy, which is kind of cool. And then inside, of course, you got all your musical tracks here. A lot of good ones here. Uh, there's 25 tracks in all. Um, I'll put a full list of, uh, track listing in the description of this video in case you're wondering what songs are actually on this. Of course, the CD itself has a really cool logo as well. It's got the, the Samus logo on it, which is really sweet. Um, and some really cool songs on here. Um, I'm a little bummed that there's only a couple songs from Super Metroid, which is my favorite Metroid game uh, of all time. Uh, probably, it's actually my favorite game of all time too, but uh, it's really cool actually to see sort of the original uh, Metroid 2 music on here. Uh, the SR388 background, uh, underground music, which is actually a really iconic tune from uh, Metroid 2. But it also has a lot of cool other tracks as well from Metroid Prime, uh, Metroid Fusion, all kinds of different games. So it's actually really cool. It even has sort of the uh, old school Brinstar theme, which is always a goodie as well. It even has music from uh, Other M, which again, actually had uh, okay music, despite the fact that I'm not uh, a, the hugest fan of that game. So we'll put this over here now. now Let's have some fun. It's time for some Amiibos. So um, we're going to crack this open and see how awesome these Amiibos are. Again, I have the two uh, Smash Brothers uh, Samus Amiibo as well. So Zero Suit Samus and uh, regular Samus. Of course, I'm, I'm breaking stuff because that's kind of what I do on this channel, uh, on the Game Moose channel, of course. So, of course, really awesome bo uh, box art. It's gonna show you the back as well. The back is actually pretty cool. Um, it sort of goes over what each of the Amiibo does because they both actually have some cool features. Uh, so let me read them off to you. So you can use these Amiibo figures with Metroid Samus Returns uh, to do the following. So you can unlock an Aeon Reserve Tank. Uh, you can mark the position of the closest Metroid on the map. So the Aeon Reserve Tank is if you tap uh, Samus, and then uh, locating another Metroid is if you tap the Metroid. Uh, it also allows you to unlock custom artwork uh, using the Samus Amiibo. Once you complete the game, you have to finish uh, Metroid Samus Returns in order to unlock that feature. And as well, once you've beaten the game as well, you can unlock Fusion Mode, which is actually an ultra hard difficulty because there's a hard difficulty and then there's an ultra, like Fusion Mode, which is basically super hard, um, where you actually use the fusion suit, which is actually kind of cool. Like it's a really cool Easter egg, um, especially considering the fact that uh, you also got to unlock the fusion shoot, suit in Metroid Prime as well if you sort of had the Game Boy Link cable uh, that sort of linked the two games together. So it's really cool that they sort of brought th that idea to a new game, even though uh, you're not linking uh, the games together. So we're gonna pull, pull these go pull the pull, box of art. I actually feel really bad about wrecking this box because it's a really cool looking box. I love the artwork on this. Like it looks so cool. Uh, okay. Also, if you live in Europe, uh, and I believe in Japan as well, uh, in North America, this is actually a double pack where you have to buy both together. Uh, but I believe in those regions, you can actually purchase them separately. So we'll put that there. Of course, the box is falling over. Can't do anything about it. So of course, we got our two Amiibo in here. Let's decage them. Of course, I apologize for the loud noises. Uh, that this box always makes. I, I love the details on these already. This is becoming like, first of all, there's a lot more heft to these uh, than the original Samus Amiibo. Um, not only that, there's just, look like there's just so much more detail uh, that went into this one. I, lo I love the size of them as well. So they are more like, um, the closest I can describe is actually like the Mario Party Amiibo. Um, those ones were actually more like big chess pieces. Uh, so that's sort of the feeling I get with these ones. So of course, here's the, the Samus, Amiibo, uh, it's pretty cool. I love the fact that it has its own custom base. So the custom base is actually uh, for Samus is Samus's logo, uh, which is kind of cool. I also love the fact that they're blue on the bottom because uh, that's something they've been doing pretty consistently with different types of Amiibo. So they've kept different color schemes for different uh, like uh, different builds. So the, like the Zelda one, for example, had the uh, um, almost like the Zelda gold on the bottom of it. And here is the Metroid breaking out of its cage. I love too how the, the base of this is actually uh, rocks. Like it's, it's a rocky base, basically similar to SR388, which is a rocky planet. Uh, pretty awesome. Also, one of the coolest things about this, and this is sort of uh, was shown off to us at the Treehouse event when this was first unveiled, uh, is that the Metroid itself is squishy. Like, uh, you, I'm noticing that as I squish it, I'm sort of uh, brushing up against the, the, the sort of the, the 
ball-like shapes inside the Metroid itself. So I don't want to crush it too much because I don't, I don't want to break them. Uh, but this is actually really cool. It's a lot softer than I thought it would be. Uh, it's very squishy. Like I, I wouldn't use this as a, like a stress ball, but it's actually really cool. Like I love the attention to detail again with this as well. Like it's so detailed. Um, they even like all the little uh, features along the bottom of, of the Metroid. Like it's, they, they really put a lot of work into this and it really shows. Uh, I'm actually very impressed with these Amiibo. I, I do think they are a little more costly than normal Amiibo. So the double pack here in Canada costs uh, 40 bucks Canadian, which is a little bit more pricey than normal Amiibos, but you get what you pay for because these are actually very well put together. Like the, the just the, again, the detail that went into these, I think is far superior to a lot of the other Amiibo um, that I've even held, even the, the Zelda Amiibo, um, the Breath of the Wild ones, which I actually think were also really well done. Um, I, I do think that the level of quality here is, is, is definitely worth the price of admission. Even if you're not gonna use the other features, like I think that even like these figures on their own look really cool. So I'm actually happy that we have them. Anyways, that's it for Metroid Samus Returns unboxing. What do you think about uh, the Amiibos, the special edition? Uh, let me know in the comments below, or you can hit us up at game underscore moose underscore cast on Twitter, or else you can find me on Twitter at Ryan Turford, that's T-U-R-F-O-R-D. Uh, you can also find our website game-moose.com for all your game dash mooseiest needs. Uh, I am re reviewing Metroid Samus Returns. Um, I'm getting the, the game later, but my review will be up uh, sometime next week, probably Monday or Tuesday. I I'm plugging away on the game and again, I'm I don't want to sort of talk about it. We'll talk about it a little bit more on the Game Moose podcast, which you can check out as well at game-moose.com or podcast services around the globe. We will be talking about Metroid Samus Returns uh, this weekend uh, when we record. So I'm excited to actually talk about the game uh, for the first time. And, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really glad because this is sort of a surreal moment for me because Metroid, again, is one of the most special game franchise, uh, franchises to me. And it's really cool to actually have so much love uh, for this franchise now finally coming to the forefront, especially with these Amiibo and the special edition. It's really great overall. I couldn't believe that like a few months ago we learned about this game and now we finally have it in our hands. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the game as well. Um, again, you can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Game Moose Podcast. Uh, again, we're also sort of trying to build out the YouTube channel, doing some live streaming as well. Uh, so let us know in the comments below what type of stuff you want to see. Do you want to see us play Metroid games like old school games? Do you want to see us play new games? Let me know. Uh, we'll definitely sort of tailor the content to see uh, what you guys like. Anyways, that's going to do it for this unboxing of Metroid Samus Returns. I hope you guys have an awesome day and thank you for watching this video.